the, every man in this community, I don't care who you are, your age, every man in this community can patrol and protect every single block out here. Right. We don't need the police. We don't need another nation to patrol our community. Right. The black man gonna step up and we gonna protect our women. That's right. Right. We gonna protect our children. Right. We gonna stop the drugs, we gonna stop the killing. We gonna uplift our people. Right. What's stopping us from walking around here, everybody get a trash bag out their house and clean up the community? What's stopping us from doing that? What's stopping us from having a community car wash? Everybody coming out having a good time. Whatever happened to the black parties when everybody used to come together and have fun? We lost the love, brothers. We lost the love. What else you got on there? Deceit, lasciviousness, an evil eye. We have an evil eye. I can't even speak to a brother or shake his hand without him thinking I'm a, I'm a uh, what they call it now? An op or an enemy. I'm not your enemy, brothers. I'm not your enemy. I'm your brother. I don't want no harm to come to you. I want nothing but good for you. I'm gonna show you what's in the minds of everybody in this community. Start over with Mark 7 and 21. This is what's in the minds of all of our people. From the youth on up. Read. Mark chapter 7 and verse 21. For from within, out of the heart of men, proceed evil thoughts. Not just talking about, it's about men, women, and the children. Right. Evil thoughts. Read. Adulteries, uh -huh. fornications. How many times people been committing adultery? Taking somebody white. Fornicating, sleeping with mad, mad women out here having kids everywhere in the same projects. Right. Read. Murders, thieves, thefts, covetousness. Murders, thefts, covetousness. A lot of times a brother want what another brother want, he covet what he want. Right. But we got to stand up together as a community. Right. We got to put away those things. Can you read? Wickedness, deceit, lasciviousness. Wickedness, deceitfulness. We deceive each other. How do we deceive each other? We lie to each other. Can you read? An evil eye, blasphemy, huh? pride, foolishness. Pride. Uh, that's one of the biggest things that hurt us is our pride, man. Right, right. God told us pride comes before destruction. Right. And that's one of the biggest things. We're so proud. We're all, oh, nah, I can't have nobody play me. I can't have nobody If you did me wrong, bro, why can't I come to you and say, bro, what, what, what happened, man? We right. grew up together. Right. You live right up the block from, what's the situation, man? Let's not talk in front. Let's talk, man. Let's, let's build with each other. What did I do wrong? If I, trans, if I did you wrong, I transgressed you, brother, and you Matthew 18, and guess what? Brother, I apologize. Right. Guess what? Nobody got killed. Everybody went home to their wife and kids that night. Now you can go home and teach your sons a valuable lesson. Son, when you go out here, avoid confrontation. Be a man. If you have an issue with your brother, correct your brother. Build with each other. Right. Keep reading. Watch this. Pride, foolishness, all these evil things come from within. And defile the men. All these things come from within and defile the men. And the men throughout the community, it destroys our community. It destroys our community. Let's go back to Leviticus chapter 19, verse 17. I want to show you something. Can I gotta ask you something, brother? How much correction goes on out here? I'm talking about from every single crime that goes on in our community, how much correction goes on? How many people do you see saying, hey man, don't do that, man? The only correction I see is the facility. The facility. That car right there. That's it. That's all the correction. That's it. But if brothers was holding each other accountable, brothers, if we was holding each other accountable, if we truly loved each other, according to this Bible, I say, bro, put them drugs down, man. Come on with me. Let's go clean some cars. Let's go cut some grass and make some money. Let's build an empire together. Let's do what we got to do to bring our community back so the other nations won't bring judgment upon us sent by the Lord. Because we don't want to do it ourselves, so that's why he's sending police around. We, we brothers, man. We got to build with each other. All of my brothers right there. Keep reading. Leviticus chapter 19 and verse 17. Thou shalt not hate thy brother in thine heart. Hey, bro, you, you missing me, man. I'm trying to, yeah, I'm trying to build with you, but you miss, I know you are your brothers, but we try to build with our brothers too early. Them the brothers. Read, read it again what you got. Thou shalt not hate thy brother in thine heart. You know what God said? We shouldn't hate our brothers in our heart. Right. We in the midst of war, bro. If we killing our brothers, who we got to defend each other? Who do we have to defend our people? Nobody. Nobody. Now our sisters and our daughters are left by themselves to fend for themselves. Every time you look up, what's going on? Mixed marriages. Right. All of our women are going to other communities because our men, we're not protecting each other. We're not dealing with each other like brothers. We're killing each other. Guess what sisters look for? They look for brothers to provide for them and to protect them. 
Who are gonna protect our women and children if we're killing each other? Right. Nobody. Right. We're not gonna have no soldiers in the war if we're hurting each other. Right. We're not enemies. Our war isn't with each other. Our war is against the ones that's oppressing us. Right. That's who our war is against. Right. And it's a spiritual war. You gotta get built up in this Bible. Can you read? Right. Thou shalt anyone rebuke thy neighbor and not suffer sin upon him. You know what they rebuke thy neighbor mean? I mean, not in any wise, we should correct our brother. We should correct our sister when in error. Right. Sis, hey, look, why you leaving the kids in the house by themselves like that? You know your brother's on drill. Why you keep letting your brother in the house like that? You know another way to correct, clean your community up? If we want to do it to each other, now you got to call the people. You got to. Leviticus chapter 5 verse 1. Because guess what? The next person that might get hit on drugs might be your family member. The next person that might be killed might be your brother, your sister, your auntie, your cousin. Leviticus chapter 5 verse 1. And if a soul sin and hear the voice of swearing. If a soul sin, we're talking about committing crimes in the community against each other right now. That's what we're doing right now. If a soul sin, read. And is a witness, whether he has seen or known of it. Whether he's a witness, whether he's seen it. Oh, you saw him just shoot that guy. Oh, you see him rob that old lady. Oh, I heard such and such got raped. Read. If he do not utter it. If you don't say anything, read. Then he shall bear his iniquity. That means you're guilty by association. You accepted that thing. You allowed it. Guess what? If you see, if you, if you see somebody get killed, somebody sell drugs or to somebody that you love, and you don't say anything. Guess what? You can don that. You can don it. So we can't do it. So guess if you see Calabria say don't snitch. If you see an old lady or a sister on the side of the building getting raped, what you gonna do? Right. Right. And best guess, that's still your people. That's your family. Rather y'all grew up together or not. That's still we still a family. You see these people right here on this twelve tribe chart right there. All those people are family. All those are people from the same nation, the nation of Israel. So we all got to be held accountable for each other. If we don't say anything or utter it, we all going to bear that sin. We all going to bear that nigga. What happens if somebody driving a car and they go in the store and rob the store and hop out in the car and get in there with you? What that mean? Now you're an assessor. That's what the Bible is bringing out. You got to tell it, bro. We got to correct each other. We got to help our people because our community is falling. Right. The men have to take back the community. I was talking to the brother earlier. If every man in this community stepped up in a righteous way and did the will of God, you listen to sis? If every man in this community stepped up and did the will of God, patrolling the community, making sure there's no crime going on, this would be a better place. This would be a better place. A lot better place. We got to be sober minded. The Lord said you got to be sober. If you're not sober, you're not vigilant. Your vision is impaired. Your mindset is impaired. And how can we how can we protect our wives and our daughters and our children if our mind impaired? If we don't know what's going on around, we always high. We always drinking. I, look, I know we I know we in pain. I ain't nobody said. God is saying it's not wrong to have a little drink to ease your mind and relax yourself. But don't get drunk. Because when you get drunk, you don't know what's going on around you. You don't know what's going on around you. Yep, Titus 3. You gotta, you, watch this. You got to be vigilant. Read what you got. Titus chapter 2 and verse 2. That the aged men be sober. How old is that brother? That brother look older than you, right? God said, let the aged man be sober. Be sober. Sis, sis, I got to ask you a question. Right. If something was happening to you right now, if a man was trying to rob you or rape you, do you think you can lie to the older brother to protect you? Well, you see this young brother right here? You see how strong he is? You see he's sober-minded? You can rely on him to protect you, couldn't you? You see this brother right here? You can rely on him to protect you, because they're not out here drunk. Read that again from the top. Look at the example that God gave us. Read it again. That the aged men, that this aged man, be sober. Be sober. Read. Grave, uh -huh. temperate, uh -huh. sound in faith. Grave, temperate, and sound in faith. If you're not grinding and sounding the faith of this Bible, brother, keeping the, God, the commandments of God, one of the commandments we bought in Leviticus 19 and 17, the other one we bought in Leviticus 5, the other one we just bought in Titus. Read it again. That the aged men be sober, grave, temperate, sound in faith, in charity, in patience. In charity and in patience. I'm trying to build the brother, but he's not being patient with me. Can you read? 
Verse 3, the aged women, likewise, that they be in behavior as becometh holiness. That's it on that one. And see, even that's for the women too. It ain't just for the men, it's for the sisters too. Because when the men are out working, what are the sisters doing? Taking care of the children. So the children are learning from them. So what do we have to do as men? We have to build the sisters up. And so right right now, you said the young brothers we had to talk to. How did you how do you feel about the young brothers' mentality, right? You ever talk to them? Man, they they hair so thick, bro. So so can I ask you a question? You said they hair so thick. How do you feel about hold on, hold on, hold on one second, hold on one second. I'm gonna get to you, bro. I'm gonna get to you. We're we'll gonna do everything decent on right, you're my brother. We're gonna build with you. One second. The conditions of everything got uh, their mind just it's like like everything you saying is is it's like hitting the firmament with a with a rocket, bro. It ain't no crack we would probably crack it, but just the fact that y'all out here trying to put an imprint on it, 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 it'll help, it'll help a little bit. And you know what, brother? The spiritually, you feel it. It's a start. And the start with how we start is keeping the commandments of God. Y'all getting built up in this Bible, so y'all seeing the foundation of the community. The foundation of the community is, first of all, is a stable household. How many broken homes we got out here where there's no father and mother in the household raising the children together? You know, statistics show there's a greater success in children that have a father and a mother in the household. They're less likely to get locked up. They're less, not saying they won't, but they're less likely to be on drugs. They got a chance. They have a better chance. Nation is men leading by example.